Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching today. Today I wanted to share with you guys ways to reduce your chlorine exposure in pools because I'm all too familiar, having been a swim teacher myself in the past, of having chlorine on your skin. It's just not a nice feeling. I remember years of this because I did it for a few years. I did it for about four years or so. I remember getting out of the pool each week with my skin dried out like a prune. I was so dried out and it was all flaky and like itchy and irritated. And I just remember that smell, the chlorine smell. No matter how much I cleaned and like washed my skin, I could always smell that chlorine kind of aroma everywhere I went. And I don't know how this happens because I'd have shower after shower and it would still be there. I think it just stained the inside of my nose. That's how strong it was. I love swim teaching. I just did not like the chlorine part of it. So I went looking for cool ways to help reduce that chlorine exposure and I came across these helpful tips, which I'm going to share with you guys now. And then later on, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own chlorine neutralizing spray, which just helps to neutralize the chlorine chemical on your skin. And you can also use it on your swimmers to help them last longer and they don't deteriorate as quickly as they do from swimming in the chlorine pools, which is just like, ah, oh, so good. When I heard this, I was like, this is what I've always wanted. I was so excited. So I'll share that with you guys later on as well. So the first tip, which is pretty obvious, I think we all know this, is to avoid chlorinated pools. Now, this is easily done if you go swimming in the ocean or if you go swimming in saltwater pools that don't use chlorine. These are good choices. But you can also go to pools that use a saltwater filter or a UV light filter, but they do still contain chlorine, but just less in less amounts. So these are the options you guys can go for, or you can swim in rivers and lakes. Just make sure they're patrolled by lifeguards so that you know you're in good hands. Number two is to rinse your skin before going in the pool. Now, so this just means like having a quick shower just before you jump in the pool, you know, at the local showers at your swimming center. Just jump onto the shower, rinse your whole body, hair and everything, and this just helps to reduce the amount of chlorine that your skin absorbs, and as well as your hair. Another great thing to do is to put a protective layer on your skin. So using, say, a homemade lotion with added vitamin C can just help protect yourself against chlorine a little bit more. Just ensure that you check pool rules before doing this, because some pools don't like patrons swimming in there with lotions on their skin. Another great thing to do is to pump the vitamin C because vitamin C has actually been found to help neutralize chlorine. So by taking it internally as well as applying it onto your skin in the form of um, the spray which I'll mention later on, this can help to neutralize chlorine and reduce your exposure to it. And finally we're up to the part where I share with you guys how to make your very own dechlorinating cream and post swimming chlorine neutralizing spray. So this is what you apply after you've gone swimming. So if you guys are interested, stay watching because I'm going to share them with you guys now. So the ingredients you'll need are half a cup of oil. This can be almond or olive oil. A quarter of a cup of coconut oil. A quarter of a cup of beeswax. Two tablespoons of warm water. Two teaspoons of vitamin C powder with ascorbic acid in it. To make it, all you're going to do is place the oils and beeswax into a pint-sized or larger glass jar. In a bowl, add the water and vitamin C powder together and then stir until the vitamin C powder has dissolved. Then fill a medium saucepan with a couple of inches of water and place the jar containing the oils and beeswax inside the saucepan and turn on to medium heat. As the water begins to heat, the ingredients in the jar will melt. Shake or stir occasionally to combine. When all the ingredients have completely melted, pour the mixture into a small blender or food processor. You can keep it in the jar if you like and use an immersion blender that will fit into the top of the jar. With the blender or food processor on, slowly add the water and vitamin C mixture until blended and emulsified. Then store in an airtight glass jar and apply it before swimming, ideally after rinsing your skin to help minimize chlorine exposure. The reason this is only a small batch is because there are no preservatives used in the solution so it will only last for around one swimming season. Now that is it for the dechlorinating cream, but if you want to be more thorough, you can apply an after swim chlorine neutralizing spray, which is super easy to make as well, and it just helps to combat against that chlorine a little bit more. So for the ingredients, you're going to need four ounces of distilled water, then half a teaspoon of sodium ascorbate vitamin C powder. 
To make it, mix the sodium ascorbate vitamin C powder with the distilled water until it's all dissolved and use within 24 hours of making it because the solution will break down and lose its effectiveness after 24 hours. To use it, simply spray a generous amount of the solution all over your body immediately after swimming. And that's it on how to make your own chlorine neutralizing spray. So what I do for my post swimming routine to help dechlorinate myself a little bit more is after I've sprayed the chlorine neutralizing spray onto my skin once I've immediately gone out of the pool is I'll go home and have a shower. So what I'll do is I'll put some vitamin C powder into my homemade shampoo just to help um, neutralize any chlorine that's in my hair. And I'll also put some into my soap as well, just to help neutralize chlorine that may still be on my skin. And if I want to add an extra layer of protection, I'll put some vitamin C powder into my bath water if I'm going to have a bath and just lie in that for a while. Next, I'll grab a bucket of water and pop my swimwear that I used into that with a teaspoon of sodium ascorbate vitamin C powder and let that sit in there just for a few minutes or so. I do this after every use of it, just to help prolong the life of my swimmers. Then after I've let it sit in there for a little bit, I then grab the bucket and pour everything into the washing machine. That includes the water and vitamin C powder mixture, plus my swimmers in the washing machine. And I put it on the delicate cycle and just let that run through until it's finished. Then I grab my swimmers and pop them out on the line to dry. This is just really great for helping to reduce fading and breakdown in my swimmers. So it's like my little routine that I've built up over time to help prolong the life of my swimwear. And that's pretty much it on my tips on how to reduce chlorine exposure when you want to go for a swim. If you guys are interested and want to see more of my videos, just subscribe below in the corner. It would be so awesome to have you join our community on YouTube. Otherwise, if you did like the video, it would be awesome if you gave the video a thumbs up for me. And I hope to see you again in my future videos. I wish you all a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.